<sighs> My hope is that Gateway is not just a movement program for you, but that through movement, it gives you an opening into seeing yourself, seeing how you work on every layer, from the more physical to the more energetic, from the more dense to the more ethereal, like the grounded levels of you, what you do, what you're doing, the effort you're putting in, what you're eating, what exercises you're doing, all the way to the how you're doing it. Are you doing it with flow, with ease, with fun? Or are you doing it with struggle, with tension? All the way to the who is it that's doing it? Who are you when you're seeking a particular outcome? Which part of you is seeking that? Who are you trying to become? Who have you been that's led you to here? So there's all these layers of getting to know yourself that we can practice observing through movement because movement holds together you and the world. You move through the world, you have your relationships, you walk from A to B, you go up the stairs, you, the way you sit down, the way you chew your food, it's all movement. And when we look at how you approach it, we can use this as a medium, as a reference point to teach you a lot about yourself. That's why I do it. Because for me, the physical parts are always going to change and undulate and eventually deteriorate. So I ask myself, what is a good enough reason to be doing all of this, which is going to outlast the vanity, having a six pack, having a, a cool handstand, like, what, what's it all for? I want to know myself in the world and I want to use movement as my medium. So I'm inviting you into this gateway experience to build the foundations that are going to help you do that too for a lifetime that is rewarding, high resolution, with as much freedom in the body as possible and as much felt, tangible, controllable, understanding of these concepts as possible. We don't want to leave them in the head. We don't want to leave them in books. We want you to know these concepts in your body and be able to action them and use them. It's powerful. Not many people can do that. We're separated from our bodies. We think of all these beautiful dreams and then we think of where we are now. There is a coming together of both where you can really create your reality by feeling it in your body. Something as simple as this we can learn so much from. The swing of the pendulum, right? This is like walking. Swinging my arms when I walk. Swinging my legs. A lot of people struggle to walk, right? They struggle to walk because somehow they're in their own way. Perhaps it's an injury, but was it chicken or egg? Did the injury come from knowing how to walk? correctly and just getting unlucky or was the injury there because they didn't really know how to walk and how is it that despite the fact that when we were born we could locomote we could crawl we built all these patterns how is it that we end up layering on all this di dysfunction as we age why is that oh we sit in chairs oh we work all day why do we do those things because we have to why do we have to like you can use movement to dig into anything. So this, it's like an arm swing, a leg swing when you walk. But it's also like the swing of life. It's like the pendulum of life. What goes right must go left. What goes up must come down. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction, both physically in the gym and politically, everything. And if we try to interfere with this natural flow because we think that something's wrong, we think that it's unbalanced, because we've just taken a snapshot of a moment in time and we don't have a big enough perspective. If we think this is unbalanced, we're gonna try and correct it. We're gonna force it away. But then what happens? It comes back even further. So overcorrection is something that fitness has done a lot of. It's something that every, we all do a lot of, at every layer. How we do one thing is how we do almost everything. Because we don't understand the seasons, because we're impatient and we don't let the pendulum swing play out in the way we change, in the way life changes, we fight ourselves. And because we're fighting ourselves, we end up getting the wobblies. <laughs> or we end up grossly, grossly overcorrecting and just, it comes back in our face. 
So the key that I'm trying to teach through gravity or posture or alignment, breath, respiration, release into yourself, stability in yourself, and locomotion or walking around moving through the world is how to have a practice which involves repetition over time that you devote yourself to six months, 12, 12 months, 20 years, all your life, where you get to watch the reps, you get to watch yourself, you get to watch yourself trying something, you get to watch as you fight yourself, you get to watch as you overcorrect and see how it comes back in your face. And eventually, with enough practice and with enough clarification of intent and focus, you can add just the smallest touch to nature's movements, nature's principles, nature's laws. You just help a little bit. You just play your role as a human being and you end up walking with no effort, just enough to keep the arms swinging. You end up moving with the seasons effortlessly because you knew where it was going and you know how to kind of help it go the way it needs to go. You're just tagging along for the ride, adding your weight, adding your weight to nature, leaning in and without even pushing, the pendulum swings for you rather than at you, rather than against you. So there it is guys. This. All these exercises, making it harder by shuffling this way, making it easier by shuffling that way. It's not really about that. Of course it is, because you have to embody it. You have to understand it. You've got to drop it into reality. But really, it's about understanding everything through understanding one thing. The exercises lead to the principles. The principles lead back to you, the universe. That's the gateway. I hope you enjoyed it.